Okay, so I wanted to share a little bit about how I do my overclocks on some of the cards now that the dual mining ETH TON mode is out there. I've spent a lot of time um, working on this, and I've got a couple of different mines um, that uh, have some really powerful cards in them when it comes to using ETH TON. I've had quite a few questions about the 6600 XTs. You can kind of see over here um, in uh, HiveOS, this is one of my mining units called the Sluice is Loose. It's got a mix of uh, NVIDIA and AMD cards in it, but this particular one has four 6600 XTs in it, and those are a mix of Power Color, uh, Red Devils, and the XFX uh, cards. So these were, were pretty low cost cards, I'm going to say around $499 a piece. And it's possible to tweak them and get around 34 um, mega hash on Ethereum. Most of them kind of limit somewhere around the high 32s, around 33. But I've, I've been able to find some ways to get some extra push out of them and I wanted to share that. Uh, number one thing, and I know this is kind of like the adage out there that memory doesn't matter, but for whatever reason on the 6600 XTs, um, about six months ago I stumbled onto the fact that memory does matter on the 6600 XTs. If you double your memory from four to eight, uh, at least on all of my 6600 XTs on this particular motherboard, which is a, a SYB250, it's a kind of off-brand Soyo 12 GPU board, but it uh, it's a great board. Uh, if anybody's interested in more about it, uh, I'll be happy to share it. It's got an add-in uh, USB uh, card that's got 11 uh, USB ports on it, so you can expand out to 12. Uh, you don't need riser. You don't need the riser USB uh, PCI Express cards all you just do is plug your USB straight into the riser and straight into the board great board but um, I started off with four gigs in and I was getting around 31 uh, low 32s on Ethereum and then as I added memory and went up to eight because I was checking out some uh, performance things with CPU mining uh, I noticed the side effect was I gained about 1.25 to 1.75 Ethereum, um, and then I, I went ahead and, and doubled it again up to 16, and I was able to push a lot of these cards up in the 33s and 34s that were stuck in the 31s and 32s before. Uh, I recorded some videos on it so I could remember, remember how it works. Again, if somebody's interested in that, let me know, and I will go back and find those and post them. Uh, but today I wanted to specifically talk about ETH TON overclocks. Uh, as I've been watching videos on people doing this, one of the big things I've seen is um, people are using their Ethereum overclocks and they're not changing their core clocks. So it's important because the way this dual mining mode works is, is um, the memory obviously controls your Ethereum mega hash and you want to keep it as high or close to what it was before. Um, and then your core clock actually is where all the TON work gets done. And so I was able to turn on TON, like this particular card I think got 33 and some change. Um, and so I only lost a little over a half a mega hash, but I picked up 1,771 mega hash on TON, uh, or 1.7 giga hashes. And you can see at these clocks with the 2100 core, which most of my... 6600 XTs were able to execute on. Uh, almost all of them are running in the 1.7 giga hash uh, range. Uh, this one here kind of started flaking out. It, I didn't really up my voltage any, so I'm trying to run a lower voltage here to save some power. You can see the power numbers are still pretty frugal uh, on this card. I you know, really think it's an amazing card once you start dual mining um, TON on it. And so you can see pretty much all of mine are in the 33 or 32 range. This one's 33.51. Uh, 
uh, for whatever reason, my XFX cards seem to do better than the Power Color, even though the Power Color, color are the only 6600 XTs that I've seen that have two uh, power inputs on them. They have an 8-pin and a 6-pin. And by the way, they look fantastic. If you haven't seen the Red Devil, uh, great looking looking card in your rig. Um, and then you can see the last one here is 32.23, and it's also at 1.709. Uh, and so you can kind of you can kind of see here's another uh, set of mines that I have here that are running. There's another 6600 XT. Uh, this one, believe it or not, is my best Ethereum card. Uh, it, it pulls 34 and a little bit of change over 34 on it. It's the highest performing 6600 XT I've seen, and I'm not running Team Black Miner on this you know the the flight sheet on this is running i think that's team red miner uh, running in dual mode um, and so you can kind of see uh, how that how that's config there uh, team black miner i ran it for a while and it gave me numbers all the way up to 36 but i didn't see that on the fool um, and so you can kind of see some of the numbers that I've been getting with it. The AMD cards performing fantastic, 33.12 here. Uh, and then uh, this uh, 6800, non-XT 6800, is consistently pulling 62. Um, and it's also um, bringing in about 2.7 giga hash uh, on uh, Todd. So uh, just a little bit more about this we can look at a couple of other things here these are uh, uh, cards that are running uh, this is actually the card in this machine that I'm doing OBS on right now it averages about 123 mega hash on ETH and about 33 or 3.3 giga hashes on TON uh, so you can do this on non LHR cards in fact there's a 3080 Founders Edition here doing 101.2 and 2.8 uh, giga hash and you can kind of see the clocks there too. Uh, and then this is it running on a 3060 that is LHR and it's getting a thousand or one giga hash and 35. Uh, this is a, I think a Zotac uh, 3060 white card uh, piece of little card as well. Uh, and just so you can kind of see what the the outcome of this stuff is this is the the group of cards I've shown here uh, I, I did restart a couple of these things and I upgraded a few things today but they are they pretty much run right on my reported hash rates somewhere in the uh, 910 to 915 mega hash normally and then my current and average stay right on that unless I've got them down for a while you can see this uh, this PC here is one that I took down for a while to upgrade some of the stuff on it. This one's obviously running low, and it was down also today. But the rest of these have been uh, been pretty solid, uh, and so it's actually getting what you would think. And you can even see it out on the the Ton servers um, out there. This is I've got about half of them doing ice mining, uh, maybe a little little less than half doing ice mining and then the rest are doing uh, Ton Whales. You see I had this a couple of the big ones down today but when they're up they're pretty consistent uh, you know, running in a 18, 19 giga hash range on Ton. So it, it's you know doing a pretty good job. It's pulling in uh, you know, well over a couple hundred dollars a month. Uh, and so if you go out and look at the kind of what to mine on these, uh, you, know, you can kind of play around and get a feel for um, what we're talking about. But you can look at a 6600 XT, uh, and I, you know, I, I'd say I'm probably getting 33.5 on those uh, at probably around 80, 80 watts. Um, and if you look at our power here, it's at 0.082. And you calculate on that, um, 
you're looking at a profitability if you're just running pure Ethereum on those 6600s. XT is uh, about a dollar and eight cents a day. But if you come up here and look at the dual mining, and you could say I probably have 3.75 average, maybe 3.9, but a couple in the 30 mid 33s. Um, and then you've got 1.7 giga hashes over here. Uh, it does raise the amount of power you use to around 100, maybe even 105. Uh, and then the same 0.082 here. And calculate, you can see it's added, you know, 42 cents uh, in profits. Uh, and that, that 42 cents kind of adds up, you know, to, if you think about, you know, having six or seven cards, and that's somewhere in the neighborhood of what a hundred and hundred seventy-five, two hundred dollars a card additional over the course of a year. You're starting to talk about over a thousand dollars just by adding Tom in. Uh, especially if your power is cheap, it does suck down more power. But anyway, these are the overclocks. Um, I'll share them out there. Um, and uh, feel free to ask any questions you have about it. Uh, if anybody wants to know more about the memory affecting the, the uh, mega hash, uh, hash rates on Ethereum on the 6600s, uh, glad to help on those too. Um, I've done quite a little bit of work on the 6800 here. Uh, there's some behind the scenes things you can do to change some of the power state tables that you can do with some commands in Hive, uh, and that'll help you get these 6800s up out of the high 50s uh, and into the, the low 60s. I could probably push this one a little bit harder, but uh, it's really doing a fantastic job too. So uh, that was pretty much it for today. Uh, I've been mining now for about in about eight or nine months. Uh, I've learned a lot from the community and thought it was time to start giving back a little bit. So. If you are into mining, are uh, interested in you know trying to get the most out of your cards, uh, leave a comment below. Uh, please hit like and subscribe on the video. It uh, you know helps to see see that. Uh, I'd like to do some live streams in the future, so I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Uh, if you leave a comment below and let me know you've got a channel as well, I'll definitely uh, subscribe to your channel too. Thanks for watching uh, and uh, good luck with the mining.